to subscribe! is on his way to Loopy's house. Hi, Loopy! <laughs> Hello, Bordado! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm making some food to eat with our friends. Really? Do you need any help? <laughs> Actually, I do. Thanks for asking. <laughs> what do you need me to do? Um, I'm going to make a salad so you can make the bread. Sounds fun! <laughs> Now, to make the dough, I need to put in flour. But how much do I put in? Loopy, how much flour do I need to use? Um, since we have lots of friends, you'll need to use a lot. Now next, I'll need some water and some sugar. <laughs> hey, Loopy, yeah. how much water and sugar do I use? Use just enough water, and you don't want it too sweet, so just a little sugar. Aha! Okie dokie! <laughs> I did what Loopy said, so it'll be good. <laughs> wow! wow. You look yummy! Hope, Hope you enjoy it! it. Thanks! Mm. Um, um. Wow, it's good! <laughs> so good! <laughs> Loopy's the one who huh? made the salad. <laughs> yummy as usual! <laughs> I want to try the bread. Uh, Me too. Uh, Dig in. I made the bread. Uh, 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 what's wrong? Is it bad? Uh, 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 it's too sweet. Uh, yeah. And it's limp and mushy. Uh, it is. What? Impossible. I just followed Loopy's directions. Did you give me the wrong recipe? How dare you? Uh, are you sure you followed my directions correctly? Uh -huh. Hold on, you guys. Loopy, what were your directions to Bororo for the bread? Um, oh. use a lot of flour, just enough water, and just a little uh -huh. bit of sugar. That's right. Hmm? And I put in exactly what Loopy told me to. I think I know why the bread tasted so bad. Problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! <laughs> okay, when you're describing amounts, words like little and a lot don't really give you a clear picture of the exact amount you need. Then what, what do, do we, we do, do, Eddie? For uncountable things like sugar, you need to use tools like a spoon so you can count the exact amount. A spoon? Here's some sugar. Here's a spoon. Now, let's take out some sugar with the spoon. One spoon. This is one spoonful. One spoon. Two spoons. This is two spoonfuls. If you say how many spoonfuls it is, then you can give the exact amount. Oh! That's so easy. The bread needs one spoonful of sugar. <laughs> I think I put in about three spoonfuls. <laughs> oh, I have a question. To make the dough, you need a lot of water and flour. So we use a tiny spoon for those two? Hmm. Loopy, how much water do I need? Uh, ten spoonfuls. Ten, ten spoonfuls? Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> oh. <laughs> like that? Whoa. That's tiring. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. You don't have to worry. 
things like water, when you need a large amount, you can use tools that are bigger than a spoon. Like this cup, for example. You use the cup just like the spoon. Let's take out some flour with the cup. One cup. This is one cupful. One cup. Two cups. This is two cupfuls. Oh, it's so easy. <laughs> yeah. You want to review what we learned with a song? Okay. okay. One, two, three. For all things uncountable, you can use a tool to help. Use a cup for flour. Use a spoon for sugar. One cup, two cups, three cups. One spoonful, two spoonfuls. <laughs> for all things uncountable, can be made countable. For a mess that are unclear, can be made very clear. <laughs> Bye, friends. See you next time. <laughs>